Hello YouTube, and um, I'm here to uh, show you how to protect yourself from a scam link and also help protect your users from a scam link and on um, YouTube. So if you have a channel like mine, like I get like 500 subscribers, I got over 600 videos, and I'm about to hit 650 videos. So we're getting up there. I'm, my goal is by the end of this year to hit a thousand videos. <laughs> that is a lot of work, but um, and I am going to do all I can to get as many videos I can get out to public. Uh, you might not watch all of them, and that's fine. And um, but I'm pretty sure there might be a video somewhere at some point that you are going to love to see and get your hands on. So by the way, I'm planning to go on Minecraft very shortly, uh, soon, and see if I can make it like a jack in a box that works on uh, command blocks and sensories and all that. And I think it would be a cool project. Uh, but, okay, so first of all, you have this uh, blacklist filter. And, um, and you don't want your user to, uh, to see link click on link that could be harmful for them because for one if the link harms their computer to the point where they can't turn it on they can't use the browser it's bad for your YouTube channel it's bad for everyone's YouTube channel this is should be a filter thing which by the way the YouTube actually did something very cool I'll have to show you in a sec what I'm talking about um but first of all, let's uh, talk about this. So first of all, you want to focus on blacklist. Make sure approval user is uh, only filtered within your family, or in some case, certain friends that you know that you, they're trustworthy. Now, this is just a block filter, but um, yeah. So. I got a set of words right here that is designed to um, stop link from happening. I'm actually going to update this even more eventually, uh, make it more tighter. Like um, that, and also dot is part of it too. Make sure you add dot on the list because you don't want people um, doing that sort of thing. And oh yeah. Um, You'll notice I will have sub for sub listed too. So you be careful with that too. That something needs to be blacklist. So if you this way it automatically put it in review and you can look at the link and uh, say, hey no it's good or no it shouldn't be on the YouTube at all. This way you get to troll what your viewers see when it comes to link. You don't want them to have scam because if they get like this virus like I said they will be blocked maybe blocked from YouTube, they might not come to YouTube you lose viewers, you lose money, you lose any activities on your videos. Those are all the three bad, big threat to virus. So yeah, not all virus will do that, but a pretty good handful of them will do that. Especially with weaker computer, they will actually slow down. So make sure you use this blacklist. Add add um, www. Add com. Add net. Add org. Add tth. Uh, oops. Http dot slash slash add https double dot slash slash add dot um, there's a few other thing I see now um, starting to pop up add tv2 um, since that's now seem to be a URL that I've been seeing a lot um, I'm pretty sure you'll approve it Another thing you gotta make sure is this is set to all 
comment, all comment. But you can actually have it hold or disable. Now, if anybody making comments in the video, look, like so, and trips one of these uh, matching words, it will um, block them and hold it for review. Um, it's the same thing for your channel, and it's also the same thing for creative credits. It will filter those stuff out for you. And then you can come back later to review it. It'll pop up right here in this little notice box for you to review. And if you got to send it to email, it'll pop up as well. So, yeah, that's actually pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, you can always click learn more right here. That's what that's for. Um, let me show you uh, the reason why you should have um, a thing. So let me go to one of my video. I'm going to go ahead and leave. I have not set any setting. What I did, I actually removed some words. And yeah. Uh, let me uh, do this real quick right here. Let me pause it. Alright. There we go. I have supposedly some link down here. Like right there. Um Yeah, apparently I can't click on those. But let me switch my um user to my secondary account. Okay. And now, oh, I can't click on that link. They, uh, huh? It's all of my videos like that. Let me uh check something here. Oh, I gotta go switch to uh, my other account so I can get to the uh, video. Um. Let me, um, let's, let me see here. Let me click on this one right here. There we go. There's a link right there. Uh, Alright, let me switch to the, otherwise I can't click on it. Okay, so if I would um, try click on a link like to this, this is a reject notice. I am not going to actually go all the way through. I mean, this is not going to actually be complete. The previous page is sending you to blah blah blah. Um, if you do not want to visit this web page, you can return to YouTube. Um, yeah, so be careful not to, um, if you did accidentally click on a link, make sure you, uh, don't actually click it all the way through. Um, but this is supposed to be some sort of form, uh, uh some sort of extra protection. And, um, if I was YouTube, I would do a lot more to this. Displaying why the direct notice been pulled up. So right now, this is like it's, it's in its early starts of this thing. And it's actually not hard to set up on a website to um, have a direct link like this. All right. Well, I'll see you later, and hopefully YouTube do some more to it.